I'm not saying don't rap how you rap, my nigga, but make some shit we can vibe to. Sounded like a real nigga anthem. Charlie saw my wallet, now she think a nigga anthem. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. What are we talking about? Stop. I'm making an edit. Stop. Okay. Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a really long time. Um, last time I posted a video, it was when I did the intake on the Hellcat, which Wait. it's been like two years now. What? what video? I don't want to be in your camera. Stop. <laughs> it's been like two years since I last made a video and it was when my car was stock. I think the first mod was the intake, but since then it has changed. It's not stock anymore. It's not where I want it to be, but I'll make an update video probably going over what I did with the Hellcat. There's not too much that I've done to it, but yeah. But anyways, since then, this year in February 2022, I might post this in 2023, it depends on when I finish this. February, I bought this C7 Z51 Stingray and it's been great. I ran into a few issues with it where the thermostat went bad, had to replace it, replaced it with a 160. Obviously, not a good idea if I wasn't gonna tune it, which I didn't, so then it kept overheating, kept having to refill my coolant, and then I figured out that I just needed a, uh, an OEM one again, and that fixed it. And yeah, it's been pretty good, I love it. It's really fun, light car, you can throw it around corners like nothing. But yeah, even before getting this car, I've had like the thought back in my head to wrap the Hellcat. And I don't know if I wanted to, I got it coated immediately after I bought it. So it still has a coating on it. I wanted to do like a matching kind of thing with both of my cars now that I have to, both of them. But I came to a decision and how I want to wrap this car and I'll show you guys the vinyl. And by the way guys, when I got the Corvette, I got really lucky. Well, here's the gloss black, I have matte black. I'll put the links to them in the description. And then I have satin down there. I think it's satin gray, I'm, I don't remember, but yeah. So long story short, I've always wanted a C7. And for the longest, I've been like thinking about it, thinking about it, and then in like early, early this year and February, I was like constantly looking through, and I do this every now and then too, constantly looking through listings of C7s. And then I came across this one. This one was listed in Nevada. And I was like so pumped about it, so excited. And I went for it, got with my bank, got a loan, then called the dealership. And then they said they had somebody that already put a deposit on it out of state as well. And waited a few days, but during those few days, I found another one in Phoenix. And then I went to go look at it. Then the next day, I think it was, they called me back like, hey, you're lucky, uh, they dropped the deposit, and or they, they dropped the deal, you're gonna get this car. And I was stoked. And the fact that it's red too, like the odds of it being red, just like the Challenger, like I, I had to, I had to. And I also didn't wanna get an automatic, I got a manual, seven speed, which is crazy that these things come in seven speeds. Yeah, it's been a great, what is it, eight months now. I love this car, I love the active exhaust, it's really fun. When I bought the car, they told me it has headers, which it's not very loud. I heard that these cars are hard to make loud. I think it sounds okay, but obviously, if you've heard my Hellcat, this is nothing compared to the Hellcat. Since I got it, I got a stage three splitter from Extreme Online Store, and I, I was at Chick-fil-A, I parked and I hit one of those like cement things in the parking lot. I didn't think I was gonna hit it. I hit it, it broke a little bit. Then I hit a tire and I hit a dead animal and it just, it broke. So I have like battle scars down here, which I don't care for. I'm gonna clay bar it. Hopefully you guys can see it. I'll show you guys when I actually get into the whole process. And I'm gonna be doing everything in depth and I'm gonna take my time with it. I'm gonna tear this whole car apart which is gonna be wild, but anyway, the only thing I've done was that splitter. I got blacked out badges. Instead of chrome, it's black over here and the red faded on both the front and the back ones. So I have all black ones that I'm gonna replace those with. And then I also got these side skirts from EOS as well, but I ended up hitting concrete at an intersection. I just like touched it. <sighs> unfortunately, it was at night. I also have a, I guess, 
2.5 splitter. That's what they call it on the website. It's the splitter that doesn't have the flares on the side. It's just a simple splitter that I'm gonna install. But the one that I had, the stage three looked so good, but it was just too risky because I drive a lot on the freeway. So I'd rather not risk it and they're expensive. So I'm not, I don't wanna have to buy a new one every now and then. So yesterday I washed the car. I washed it normally. I used, um, I forget the brand. It's some dude on Instagram's car it? soap. I usually use Adam's wash and wax, but I didn't because I'm trying to get rid of the blue one that I have. Um, but I washed it yesterday and then today I've been working, but next <laughs> week I don't work. So I'm going to take my time and tear this thing apart and wrap it. The first thing I want to do, I'm going to debadge the front and the back. Then I'm gonna take the side skirts off. I'm gonna take the front end off, the rear off, and I'm gonna remove the spoiler so I can wrap underneath it. I'm gonna get behind the fender, take these vents out, and along with the fenders on the side. I'm gonna tear the door apart, which I really didn't wanna do, but I have to. And I'm gonna take this sticker off. I think I wanna put a black one there. This is really crooked anyways. But yeah, I have never wrapped anything before aside of the taillights. I've done the taillights on the Challenger, I've done the tail lights on my best friend's car, but that's about it. And I've just always wanted to wrap my own vehicle, so this is going to be really fun, really challenging. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't really plan to do anything much to it because it's the daily. But yeah, I didn't even tell you guys what I was going to do, how I was going to wrap it. So I, I have three different colors. It's going to be full matte black, and then it's going to be triple black camo. It's going to have camo gloss black and then like the satin gray dark gray color it's gonna look sick okay so first thing i have my extension cord i'm gonna use my heat gun to debadge these badges and i'm gonna use one of these yellow plastic trim tools to take it off comes off pretty easy it leaves a whole bunch of glue this stuff is kind of hard to get off it's coming off in like layers which is really weird it's like kind of sandy and almost like styrofoam so i'm gonna let it soak and goo gone and then i'm gonna remove the front one and then come back to this one okay the rear is complete and i'll get back to you guys when i'm done with the front one okay i'm done with the front one thing that i found easier was when i was using the trim tool let me show you guys the swirls oh yeah but nobody's gonna see that. The paint's not too bad. I mean, it's bad, but other than underneath the badge. I mean, I don't care what's underneath the badge because I'm covering it anyways. So there it is with all the badges. I'm gonna stop there for today because it is seven o'clock. I need to eat. I haven't eaten yet and I have to get ready for work tomorrow. But yeah, tomorrow I, well, I have a list of what I'm gonna do in order. So tomorrow I'm gonna take the side skirts off, the rear end, take the spoiler off, take the front end off. Mm, I might take the headlights off. I'm gonna take the grill out. But before, actually, before I do any of that, I'm going to clay bar the whole car. But um, yeah, that's the progress for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow, day two. Okay, it is now day two and today, I'm going to be removing the side skirts and clay barring the car. Ew. Oh, dust. Gross. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, I can hear the tape. Yeah, okay. Okay, I just set it to the side. I'm gonna put them on top of my race ramps together, but Oh my gosh, look how gross that is. I haven't even had it for that long. Okay, got the second one off. I wanna take the sticker off. Okay, I ended up using a heat gun. It was much faster. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to clay bar the glass as well. Shout out to my brother for getting me these Adam's Polishes bottles for Christmas. I have in here water, drinking water, and like three drops of soap. And yeah, I'm gonna spray this and clay bar the entire car. So I just clay barred from this body line underneath down there to about right here. And there is a significant difference in how the paint feels with just using it. I didn't even go too hard. Like I didn't go too long with it. And it's, oh my gosh, it's amazing. I'll update you guys when I'm done okay i'm not done but i just wanted to show you guys really quick this is crazy i've ever used clay bar before but listen listen so this is my paint before clay bar 
and then listen to this like what it's so smooth now the paint is as smooth as i could get it now it should be ready to get torn down starting tomorrow i'm gonna take off all the trim remove the rear end the front end and then prep and wrap see you guys on day three welcome back it is day three today i'm gonna start tearing apart the entire car most of it i don't think i'm gonna be able to get to the doors but i'm gonna do what i can today so right now i'm going to remove the front bumper and remove the grill inside of it there is some t30s up here some clips t15s behind the bumper right here um some seven mils and then 10 mils underneath and yeah, I need to set up a table. I'm gonna have my brother hopefully move his car. Half of my bolts for my bumper underneath. <laughs> Fun! Ta da! Oh, oh dropped one. Now I'm gonna remove the T30 screws or bolts, whatever's in here. But I have to be careful and I can't really use my flashlight because I have a bit that's not magnetic. So I'm gonna set my phone in the intake. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Um, these hoods are really nice and all, but like, how awkward is this position? Now I have to remove the clips here. There's one, just two, I guess. And they have like a little slot for you to put the flat head in, so that way you don't have to like dig for it. Oh. Oh, it's always. Mm. Right, right. <laughs> so if you don't have one of those really fancy what do you call it i forget what it's called the camera the the something scope boroscope um this is where i use snapchat and uh, flash so go down here record you guys know the drill try to find a good plastic thing and then you rewatch the video hope you see it Oh, I think I see it. So, I'm gonna get out of the car. Okay, I'm under the car. I don't think you guys understand how much of a lifesaver that is. I'm gonna put the video on the screen so you guys can see where it is. I've got my phone normally. That way you guys can still get the wide angle. Okay, so it fell down towards me weirdly and it's literally in here so if you go underneath in these holes it's literally like where is it right here watch like bro <laughs> All right, I got the clip. Now, what do I gotta do? I gotta take these T15s out on both sides. Um, there's a thread missing from one of my splitter. Bro also, look at the pieces that came off. These little rivets. So it's off of that plastic piece that the 10 mils hold up. Uh, you can't even see it, but it's literally broken off with the plastic. So I'm going to need a new. A new what? shield thing you know using um manual tools is very time consuming obviously but at least have entertainment this dude just literally pulled up not dude to lay down <laughs> girls jackie it's just a little kid it's okay i ate a sandwich what are you gonna eat i don't know i'm hungry Guys, she's hungry. <laughs> okay, I got the bolts back here off on both sides. I'm gonna pull like that. So back here, there is a plug, or there it is, a connection, and the clip. Shout out to Jackie for holding my bumper open. Hey. But 
the actual like release clip is back there and that's where you release it from so it's gonna be a little tricky so i couldn't get it on the other side because the clip is backwards so i think what i'm gonna do if this side is facing the right way i'm gonna take the whole bumper off after this and then i'm gonna undo that oh that's sneeze. y'all good is there one more? i think so i can't hold it for long um, so after fighting with the bumper, trying to take it off for like 10 minutes, we didn't realize that there was more seven millimeter bolts underneath. And yeah, there's like, I don't know, there's probably like four of them like right behind up around the bumper. I'll show you guys, but yeah, that was, I don't even remember doing that the first time I ever took my bumper off. Okay, I tried to take the bumper off and I did not remember that. I did not remember this process last time I took it off, but there were five of these seven mil screws, like, way underneath so i'm literally putting my face just like this and the impact perfectly fits so i'll be back dude that took so long for no reason those five bolts are stupid i don't remember them at all i'm gonna try to remove the mirror now because it's like really tight right here so i really want to get the edges right here oh wow this is like Easy. Wait, hold it, hold it. <laughs> These clips are a joke. Finally. Okay. Oh. It's gonna be the same problem as last time. It's just a metal scraping, it's fine. Say, what if I undo the clip? What if you just put Look, it back? It's just too bold. No, put it back! Why are you serious? It's gonna be gray after this. Watch it still come out. Watch it just. Oh. Oh. Nice. Perfect. We had a death at the building. Okay, America, yes. Oh, we got one more. Give. There she is, right there. Go. Okay, nice dude, nice. Okay, I have the girl down here with the headlights and the bumper up here. And now, time to remove the entire rear end. <laughs> it's not that bad. So first you take the seal out. Apparently that's easy. Oh, look at that. Okay, it's these, these kind of plastic clips. Right. So I guess I don't know what the technique is. Um, let me try this thing. Oh, there's broken the clips there. Makes it easier. Oh, Who needs seals? Can I break? That definitely sounds like something broke. So Does that light turn off? The tutorial didn't say that. Actually, what? there's a carport right Where here. Can you do that? Works and I features. my Nintendo DSi XL there. And spoiler's gonna be bad. Oh, clip! If we can reach it. How? So we're gonna put that? Was that even in there if there was no clip? Yes. Um, right, so this is gonna stay in here. Yeah. Now there's T15s all across the mm, I relate to that. I hate T15s. I hate the T's. I have some T bits. I have some T's. Yeah. T15, you said yes. Yeah, I got a T15. It's a T15. That won't fit on here. It fits on this. So we're going slow, huh? Yeah. Um, well, going. Find it. Give me my bit back. It's in there. <gasps> there it is. <laughs> Let's do it. For some reason, this side's lower. 
cool. Clips back here? Stop it. Oh. I heard something hit the ground. Yeah, it's just rocks and stuff. Yeah. Screaming. Okay, um, this is scary. This is why we need masking tape. Okay, while well, my brother's going to get masking, masking tape so I can take off that bezel thing, I'm going to take off the two 10 mil bolts that are here at the bottom where the exhausts are. Not bad, not bad. Oh, like put it on the. <laughs> this is too thick. Okay, oh. I'll stay here. I forgot the stuff from you. <gasps> no, look. Oh, it's not. Take a nap. So, what if I like, pinch? Oh, yeah, that's the thing. Oh, wow. <gasps> Expensive car, convoluted. Oh, no. oh, the bit's gonna come off. Ow. Hold on. You want it? Yep. Oh, oh, I forgot there's more stuff we got. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's falling. Okay. Oh. October 8th, 2013, that's right. Wait, let me see. There's only two connections on the bumper. We already took the headlights. Or I don't know why I keep saying headlights all day. Tail lights out. So there's that one down there. And then this big one right here. Pesky B. Do I stop recording? What is that? I'm recording. Okay, it's been like forever, but we could not, this, this was a whole, beast on its own taking this off this was okay like taking it off initially was fine but like all these clips and everything we got all the reflectors out there was two wires I ended up taking off a spoiler and the brake light the connections right here we can't get the black piece the lower part to come out because there's like a bolt that i can't get to and i don't know where it's at like from the outside and there's a couple clips down in the corner that do not want to come out. So I think I'm going to leave it like this. Yeah, see y'all on the next clip. Welcome back. It is now day four. It is daytime. Thank goodness I get to be able to work on this car in the daytime now. It's actually raining outside, which is pretty cool. There's something connected right there. I don't know what it is. And I couldn't figure out how to take it off. So it's going to get wrapped while it's still hanging on the car. But I'm gonna have to wrap these first since this is loose, I can do that. That way I can get the edges. And I don't remember if I filmed this or not, but if we go to the other side of the car, I was like, oh, I won't do anything else. You know, it's getting late. I'll do the rest tomorrow. Well, homegirl, me, I got bored and I took the fender off, which was pretty easy. It's just a bunch of T15 screws there's three here, and then it goes all along here, and then there was some here, and it ended up taking off this uh, plastic piece that holds the clips for the rear end, which I don't know how it goes back on, but that's fine. I attempted to take the left side off, but as I was taking it off, I was about to like get it all off, and I think that there's like fiberglass like molded right here, so it's not gonna come out. I can't even get in here because of how tight it is because of that. So I can't take this off. I'm going to have to wrap around it, unfortunately. Then I removed the hood vent, which was very easy. So let's see here. It was just two T15 bolts. This first plastic piece came out. And this came out very easy. So let's say it's in the hood right now. All you'd have to do is find where these white clips are and then just pop away and it just comes right out. Then I started to tear away right here so I could get this off. This should be easy. Um, I have small arms, so that should be fine. And I'm gonna try to not have to take the tire off. Once I take those vents out on both sides, I'm gonna start working on the doors, which it shouldn't be too hard, honestly. That is all done. I'm gonna start wrapping the car. I don't know if I'll get to it today, but I think the first thing I wanna do is the hood, then the doors, fenders, and I think that rear bumper is gonna be last along with this one. So shout out Blackview for this cool coffee tumbler. If you guys need a camera for your car, link is in the bio. There it is. And there is that piece.
Okay, this one absolutely sucked. I had trouble getting the top one, the middle one was easy, and then the bottom one. I could touch it, I could get all the way around it, except I couldn't fit. Uh, where is it at? I couldn't fit my ratchet in there. This was too thick and it had too much of an angle on the head. Then I used this and I finally got it. It's one of these really skinny ones. Finally. I got the panel off. These are annoying. This one wasn't, um, the other end of it stayed in, so I put it back on the panel. We have to take the speaker off. This and the mirror comes off, and then we do it all again. Ooh, yeah. Don't eat. Don't don't mess with the info. I couldn't get the mirror off. There's too many clips, and it's just it's a hassle. I already broke that infill thing. Trying to take it off. It's so delicate. Okay, I just got the other panel off. It went much smoother than the last one. Now that I know what to do. Now, I didn't show you guys on the last one, but you take off a clip here with the panel popper or the trim tool right here to peel the seals back and then there's a t15 one there and one in here and then this so the back seal here comes out easy and then after that this one just comes right off and then i'm gonna raise the glass put the softer one that's on the inside back on so the glass has something to rest on um take two bolts off of this loosen one of them just crack it a little bit and then I'm finally ready to wrap. I forget what day it is, but here's a quick update. I did the hood, my boyfriend helped me. We redid it twice. It was not coming out well at all. It was okay for the most part, like all up here. The center was perfect. It just kept getting so many folds here in these creases. So I'm gonna redo it again. Finally found a video of somebody doing it, so I'm gonna try to do that. Also did the gas cap. I had to redo it once, but it came out perfect second try. And I also got this vent out finally. It was kind of hard. I'm kind of worried of how it's gonna be putting it back in because over here it's insanely tight, but yeah, we'll see. I also did the eyelids. I don't remember if I mentioned it in one of the past clips, but I finished the eyelids. This is what it looks like right now. I already did one set of taillights came out pretty good but this is basically what i did i just laid it on top like that and then i'm gonna heat and stretch going all the way down side to side slowly all right guys it's the next day i i can't keep track sorry um so i actually yesterday before we did the fender i'll show you guys right now on the hood i got to remove the wire clips for the mirror which the clips did not come out the wire did with the electrical washi tape or whatever it's on there. So this will be coming out, but I hope I can put it back with electrical tape and succeed, because some spots are very tight. This store is like engineered really weird. But anywho, did the fender last night. I'm almost done, just need to do the front. It looks pretty good. There's still a bunch of folds here. It was pretty rough <laughs> to do, hopefully. It doesn't look too bad when it's done, but the rest looks good. And the hood came out awesome. It looks super good. Also did the underside of the mirror with the excess material that I had from, what was I doing? The fender, I think? So I'm gonna finish this fender and I'll meet you guys later. Okay, finished the fender. Came out pretty good. And also the seams are clean look at that awesome the only problem is that uh it tore here because of how much stretch there was and i also cut too much over here which the camo will cover so we'll be good okay update it is now nighttime and it's looking great this fender was super easy got it done pretty quick but there is one thing that went wrong so i had this all laid out i had this glossed out then i got over here and i was like oh i should cut the excess out and i cut i don't know why i went this far i cut all right here hopefully the camo covers it i just cut another piece knifeless tape tried fixing it 
But I thought it was like over here cutting the excess, but it was like all down here. It was a mistake. It was a big mistake. With the excess from over here, I also did the underside of this mirror, which came out pretty clean. I did the other fender, put the vent back on, and now it's sitting under the seal. I didn't bolt it or anything. It's just sitting and it looks so good. I also had to go in with extra pieces of vinyl in here because it was not covering and I have I have not found any way to take off the gas cap or this hinge so I just left it by the way she also took an hour on that no I did well, not you took the whole fender an hour or two maybe yeah and you also got this on your face like what's on your hand oh nice I have stuff on my face oh uh nice next thing is gonna be the doors so I took I'm, doing the I'm gonna be able to take the mirror out and guys i'm doing the doors not her right shut up plug the door panel in put the glass down and then try to do the doors i feel like it might be a little challenging when it gets down to this body line i don't know if you guys can <sighs> tell might be a little iffy there but we'll see iffy so i tried wrapping the mirror all in one and i hated it it sucked i could not get it so now I'm gonna try doing it in sections, which I know it's possible doing it on one piece, but like it's matte, the stretch, I don't know. I'm not a pro, I don't know. So I'm doing this section first along the side. And then the next one's gonna be from here, from here, getting the next body line going around. And then the last one's gonna be the very top. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so far so good. Okay, we got the door done and it was, I'm so surprised, probably the easiest thing on this car. The absolute easiest. You don't even have to stretch it. You don't even have to use heat. So that came out very nice, very, very fast. And I also did this centerpiece here and I will continue tomorrow. Okay, it is the following day. I did the other mirror. And now I'm letting her do the other door because she wanted to do it and it's really easy. Yeah, because you stole the other door from me. <laughs> and I I know it was easy. Okay. You said it was hard, hard. Yeah? Mm hmm You should show the people how to do it. Oh, no. Oh, no. What are you doing? So um, I accidentally did a line. Oh, wait. No, you did it. You grabbed the squeegee and then you went. Mm hmm So how do you fix it? You have to redo it. How? Mm. So you go like this, watch. Of course, I'm gonna... Let me do it. No, it's gonna fold again. Okay. okay. Now it needs heat because there's lines in it. You see? Oh no. Okay, we're good. She took an hour on everything. Well, that was two hours. Oh, um, show them. Show them what you did up there. I did. Tell them how many strips of tape was up there. So you have to be careful. You have to do like an even line. Then you have to make sure if you lift anything back. Yeah, there is something right there. This will happen. I'm making them learn. You what? Making them learn. If they ever want to wrap your car. Sure. Door came out pretty good. My sister did the entire center and then gave up down there. So I did the bottom and the top. And yeah, it came out pretty, pretty good. Okay, it is hours later. I got my lashes filled. I got Starbucks and we got food. And now the process continues. I already finished one mirror. I'm going to finish this one. And I'm dumb. I don't know why I didn't realize that I obviously had enough to do that because I have more than enough lengthwise yeah. not excuse me I have more than enough lengthwise I don't know why I, th I don't know so I'm gonna finish this at the end if I don't have enough I'm gonna do that separately like that one piece but if I do I'm gonna redo the whole piece as one duh okay so um do you need help editing no why not because no I am a pro at editing uh-huh I am. Okay, send me someone, I'll put it in the video. Wave through the hood, now nah, sounding like Roboto. Why you eat bread with avocado? We be trying to dash shells before I land in our tomato. 
Singing all my sorrows on Apollo I've been trying to pave the way But they didn't tell me it was Pato's mm. America ain't dreaming It been scheming when the birth of a nation Okay What do you mean? <laughs> the mirrors are finished I'm gonna do the other rocker right here And I know I haven't like filmed myself doing this Cause it's been like kind of a long process So I'm gonna do that now So that's that. Now I have to do the back of the rocker panel. Okay, it's all cut. That's all the vinyl that was left over. Ouch. And now I'm gonna use heat to cure the ends and this is done. I'm currently doing an inlay on the side of the bumper. That way when I wrap the rear bumper, I could just do the face and I have no issues trying to like wrap it around the edge or this side over here. So I cut a big piece, put some knifeless tape and hopefully it comes out all right. Okay, I got both sides done. They look okay. This one's way better than the other side. I put in the tinted reflectors on both sides. In good, I practically have the entire car done. All I need is the rear bumper, the hatch, front bumper, and the camo, and then rebuild. It's like one in the morning now, so... Uh, okay, so earlier, I went to cut vinyl for the hatch, cut it, and then I looked down here, and um, yeah, I don't think that's enough for two bumpers. So either I'm gonna do the front bumper in pieces. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna figure that out right now so I can order it. It takes like two days for it to come in. I'm trying to finish this in two days, within two days. I don't know how it's gonna work out. But anyways, I did the rear hatch perfectly within like 20-ish minutes and then I just finished cutting it and it looks so good. Let me back up so you guys can see. This is pretty sick. I have a black car now, that's crazy, it looks so good. Yeah, I need to figure out the bumper situation and I think that's all I'm gonna do for tonight. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Hey, it's the next day. Last night, I... I always say I'm gonna finish and I never stop. <laughs> I installed the fender on this side and I ordered five by 15 of the vinyl that I need. And I started to put like knifeless tape here on the bumper and I was like, oh, should I do it in pieces? Should I not? So I think I'm just gonna wait. So right now, I put more vinyl in right at the door jam so you don't see it from the outside when the door's closed. Put a little sliver of it right here. And also, I thought I was gonna be able to fix this issue, but now I see why the other one wouldn't come off. This is not gonna go away unless I like JB weld it or something. Um, it's pretty ugly. 
but whatever. Now I'm gonna put more vinyl inside this side and I think I'm gonna start putting the doors back together and then I'm gonna start doing some camo on the panels that I can until I can do the front and the back bumpers. Okay, update. I have a mess everywhere and I put the, oh guys, look, it looks so good from like right here. You can see like all my seams and everything, but it's okay. Except for like stuff like that, you know, but, but doing it for the first time at home, like can't really complain too much. I was going to do the wrap now that I have the mirrors on, but I think I'm going to do that tomorrow and I'm going to edit tonight. And I actually put the doors back together, not just the mirrors, you can't even see. I put the panels and everything back together, looking great. The other side was a little iffy though because, ew, look at that, that's so gross. Because there are clips that the wire has on the mirror, right? Well, those clips, I only got one out on the left side, I think. And these absolutely suck to get out these clips, so I had to, when I took them off, rip them out with the, uh, I ripped off the like washi tape, electrical tape, whatever's on there. It was like really weird and it was yellow on that side and then black on this side. But I tried electrical taping them back on and that side was, was a success. It's really hard to do it because it's so like, it's such an awkward position you have to put yourself in just to get up into here with the small speaker hole down there, it sucks. So on this side, I think the window squeaks. I think it's like rubbing on something. I don't know, hopefully it doesn't rip my uh, mirror harness out. But yeah, that's the update. Vinyl has not shipped yet. Obviously it's the weekend right now. So it's gonna be a few days and yeah, I'm just gonna wait and do it right. It could have been done tonight, but you know, I messed up the hood twice, had to order vinyl not in one roll, I don't know why. But yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Hello guys, I'm recording with my iPhone right now. Um, So I didn't record last night, but, but, one second. I, so I only have enough vinyl to do the front and the rear bumper once. And of course I cut right here to be able to get in here and like manipulate it, whatever, and to have room to get into here right so i cut it perfectly and then it like ripped up here so there's like you can barely see it well you can see it on camera but it's like ripped so i'm gonna go over it with camo um you know first time not too bad not too bad but overall it looks pretty good just looks so evil i love it and right now i'm doing the front bumper which oh my gosh we me and my brother peeled the vinyl for this and it like got folded like crazy we had to like tack it to the car just so we could stretch it out and it, it, was just, it, it was a nightmare doing that and now down here it's all like folded up and it's yeah but it's getting there okay it doesn't even feel like it but it's been like four hours i hate this bumper <laughs> it sucks um yeah i'm almost done okay i'm finally done with the front bumper it's hideous like look at this so many folds here it's not an air bubble, I think it's just stretching. Um, so many, so many folds over here. Really bad on this side. Over here, it's perfect. It's just, just, it only looks good from far away. So I just put alcohol all over the whole car. And I'm gonna start laying a knifeless tape to do the camo. And hopefully it comes out good and then I can put it together and I'm done. Okay, I thought I was gonna finish tonight. I can't. It's already getting a little late. I work tomorrow, so I'm gonna stop here. I put gloss here, here, on the side over there, down here, here, and I connect it down there, and right there. Yeah, so much for finishing tonight. It is the following morning. I am, sorry for the iPhone videos. I'm putting on the last bolt for my side skirt. And we're done. I'm gonna go film right now. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit just with some shine armor. Link in bio. I mean, link in description. Hey. We're done. Okay, it is like, I don't know, maybe three days later. Um, I just washed the car and 
it looks great. There's only a few imperfections that I'm kind of worried about, but overall, it's pretty good. So this is what she looks like. It looks amazing. I'll show you guys up and close the imperfections too. Also, I think I've already got rock chips. I've driven this thing already for four hours on the freeway and I already got some uh, rock chips. Nice. Also, I have a new sponsor. You can barely see it right now because it's too light up, but it is a wanted light up GTA sticker, which is sick. It looks gorgeous. A little water dripping from the taillights, but it's all good. I know Mopar people understand the problem as well. For the most part, it's pretty good. All the edges are perfect for the most part. Um, I do have some lifting because I think some like plastic from the clear film on top of this came came with it or maybe it's paper don't tell anybody um but i thought i was gonna bubble here because it was bubbling during the process but if you come over here where i didn't expect it to bubble because it actually ended up working out fine ended up bubbling nice right now over here towards the bottom i didn't think it would bubble it bubbled but other than that rock chips i think it's pretty phenomenal what i want to do is probably lower the car on the stock bolts it shouldn't be too bad it should be pretty easy um i need tires that's for sure so michelin super sports i believe the pilots yep which i don't know if you guys know this but i had to figure this out on my own um whenever you make slow turns slow sharp turns like full lock the wheels skip and i was like it was driving me crazy i didn't know what it was and then i ended up finding out that it's the tires because they're not all season tires if you guys can tell but there are a bunch of like swirl marks or like you know wipe marks on the gloss part because i used matte products on it so i'm going to go over it with maybe like adam's detail spray what i did use was chemical guys matte I forget what it's called, their matte soap and detail spray. And it didn't have time for the sealant, obviously, because the sun is setting. I wanted to clean the interior because it's super gross and muddy because it just rained for the past few days. But that will be for another time. But yeah, I love the way the wrap came out. It's great, I love it. Everyone else is telling me that it's great. I think it's great. It's pretty good for my first time wrapping a car. And yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. I know it was long, um, but I appreciate it.